guys, welcome back to this week's video. I'm so happy you're spending some time with me. I've put together some bright and cheerful feminine outfits that are what I envision as perfect for a summer getaway, whether it's a weekend at the beach or just a weekend away or even just a casual evening out. These outfits are so romantic and feminine and wearable and they just are perfect for something like that. And just a little spoiler alert, <laughs> I have found the cutest lemon print. Some of the clothing I'm using today are from my most recent newly rentals that I selected for this month. So if you are interested in any of the newly rentals, I will have them linked down below. But I do have a $20 offer for a link down in my description box that you can use if you wish to try newly, which I highly recommend because I have been doing it for a few years now. It's essentially renting dresses, tops, and pants from our favorite brands. And then at the end of the month, if you don't want to send one of the pieces back or you end up falling in love with a piece, you can always purchase it at a really great discount. The most discounts that I receive are usually anywhere from 35 to 50% off. I even got a 75% one off this round, which I'll share that dress with you. But oh my goodness, the discounts have been amazing recently and you more than likely will get a brand new item at least a couple in your newly rentals. If you're someone who loves a fresh wardrobe, you like quality pieces, but you're on a budget, it's a really nice fit, at least for my lifestyle. I've really enjoyed it. And it's helped keep my content fresh without having to feel like I have to buy a bunch of stuff, you know? To give you fresh content, it's a lot of just rotating my closet and you send the pieces back. If you have gotten the wear, you can always rent them again if you really like them or you can purchase them, which I have done several times. So I will link a few of my favorite newly reviews linked above for you. I've reviewed several here on my channel and I've been a fan of Newly for a very long time. That is Newly, but I also do have a dress that I discovered, an affordable dress, mind you, that is perfect for the girly girl. Some of you have been asking me to review Red Dress Boutique and I've purchased a couple things from them, but this piece I am so excited about because it is it's so cute. Before I begin though, I quickly wanted to introduce myself to you if this is your first time watching one of my videos. I love creating feminine fashion, styling videos, with a very feminine, romantic, and girly style all in one. But I love just the styling type of videos. So if you enjoy the type of content, definitely subscribe. I do have a new video for you every Saturday. And if you click that notification bell, that will notify you what time on Saturday my video is going to be up for you. So for this first outfit, this is a dress that I actually have been eyeing for a while off of Newly. It is a Newly rental. This brand, there is a specific dress that I have been interested in. It's a really pretty pink one. I think on Newly, it's a yellow one actually. But on their website, they have this beautiful pink ruffle maxi dress and I loved the shade of pink but I love this signature style that they have in their brand of these embroidered flowers like it comes in a lot of their pieces and from what I've seen of their brands a lot of their pieces are made of this beautiful linen fabric. I was finally able to get my hands on this mini dress. I have my eye on the maxi dress. I'm a maxi dress girl, a Medaxi or maxi, but I do have an eye for mini styles here and there. And this one was definitely catching my attention. The maxi dress is what I really want to rent next. It's always rented out on Newly though. Don't rent that one so that I can get my hands on it. <laughs> I'm just kidding rent the dress. But I did decide to go ahead and rent this dress and I am so glad that I did. This is literally perfect for right now. It's that fit and flare style, but this one, it comes up really nice and flattering along the waist. Makes me feel so elegant, but that romantic boho style almost, which I actually have been tending to get away from the boho style, but this one, I can really, really appreciate. For one, it has the dramatic sleeve that I love. It does have elastic around the arms and then you get that full effect of the puff sleeve, which I love. The embroidered flowers are different, but it does make it stand out and it was what caught my attention. I really am drawn to very timeless classic cuts and styles, but finding something about it that makes it unique and stand out. And this with the embroidered rose does make it stand out. And I think I actually prefer the more maxi dress style because on the maxi one, it's more on the top of the dress and on the shoulder. And I think I would prefer that one, but I had to try this one out. I just want to get a feel of the brand and see how their sizing was. I did, oh, I don't think I even told you the name of this brand. I'm so excited about this dress. I'm not even sharing with you the name. So the name is Fan Mon and I did get this in a size medium. This is in a really pretty sage green. It's very light, and with it being the linen material, it does make it really nice and easy to wear in the summer. And also, I wanted to mention the length of this dress because it is a longer mini style, so it's very wearable. As far as styling this dress up, I was definitely getting more of the romantic 
boho feel from this one in particular. Now some of the dresses I'm getting more of the elegant feminine. This one I feel like I wanted to go more of the romantic boho. So in order to get that look I just went for wedge heels because I felt like it definitely was giving that summer vibe to the outfit but also I think just slip on sandals if you just want to do something easy. Like literally this will go with any of your favorite sandals. And then just to finish off my look I did want to mention I styled it with my brown Kate Spade handbag. There's a straw handbag I have my eye on. It's the Lofler Randall straw handbag that I am absolutely obsessed with but it's an investment so either I'll have to buy it on sale at the end of the summer or I'll have to just look at something a little bit more affordable. Some of you were telling me just just buy a straw handbag but yes I am looking into getting a straw handbag. I'd rather just have one good timeless straw handbag that I can pull out every single year. Wouldn't that look so cute with this outfit? <sighs> I have it on my Honey app, so I'm keeping an eye on it on my sale because I'm getting so stuck on this first piece. But I did also want to mention that I just recently got a new steamer. You know with linen pieces, they can get wrinkly. Well, I just used this new steamer on this outfit, on this dress, and it was insane. It did such a good job and it was very easy to work with. I'm actually gonna be using this in my next video because you all are gonna help me pack for a little getaway that we have. So um, if you wanna see me using this in action, come back for my video next week. But I'm gonna leave this link down below because this is such a good find. I found it off of Amazon and I, of course I got it in pink. And also, if the pink is not your vibe, you can get them in different colors. They have them in white, blue. I think there's a bunch of colors, so anyway. This is where I have to chat about this lemon print that I found. And this is where I feel like cheerful, the bright cheerful that I mentioned at the, be the beginning of the video just kind of comes into play. So this is the next piece that I have to share with you. And this is once again, one of my newly rentals and it's from the brand Maeve. It's by Anthropology. After wearing this dress, I have come to the conclusion that shirt dresses are an essential. They are a must, especially in the summer wardrobe, but I feel like there's something that you can pull out year round depending on the style of the shirt dress. I don't know why I don't have a classic shirt dress in my wardrobe. This one is definitely more fitting for the summer. The thing that's really been drawing me to shirt dresses is that they're a very timeless piece. There's something that has been around, but I also just love how you can unbutton the bottom of the dress and get a really beautiful romantic slit in the dress and just get a little bit of skin showing. So a couple features that I noticed about the dress as I was wearing it, I love this little cutout in the back. I love the simple cutouts because they are much more easier to work with. The cutouts are definitely a trend and they have been a trend for a while, but this one is in such a wearable way. It does also have this little piece of fabric in the back that is that elastic and smocked material. So it makes it very comfortable as you're wearing the dress, very breathable. You do also have a little tabs right here that you can unbutton and adjust to your waist. I kind of brought them in as much as possible just so I can get that nice waist in the back. The dress does also come with a very soft lining as well, which I feel like this is like a silk cotton blend or something because it's maybe it's just cotton. I was actually thinking about styling a belt with this, which I think you could, but since you do have this cutout in the back, I kind of stayed away from it. I wanted the dress to do all the talking and then just do simple neutral accessories with it. So I thought that Brown accessories will look really pretty with this and definitely bring in more of that summer feel, getting that earthy, neutral tone in the outfit. So this will look really pretty with white accessories as well or navy blue if you prefer brown accessories, like any neutral color accessory I think would look really nice with this. And I did want to go a little bit more elegant so I decided to do heeled sandals with this one just to kind of dress it up a little bit. Once again, this will look so cute with a straw handbag, but we're not going to go there. Next year I'll have the, the fancy straw handbag to style with all my outfits. I have a girly dress find to share with you. Okay, so I've actually had a couple of you asking me to review some dresses from Red Dress Boutique. I have purchased from them in the past. There were a couple things I ended up sending back, but they just did a Charleston edit on their page and I'll show you I'll show you the pieces that they have on there. Oh my goodness. 
so girly but very wearable i loved the fabric that they were using in a lot of the pieces they were using cotton but the style of them is just so wearable and i loved the colors as well they had a lot of blue and pink and very soft neutrals as well but there was one dress that stood out to me such an exciting girly girl find because if you have that style you will just love this i ended up getting this in a size medium and it's perfect i love the fit smock material so you get that really nice fitted waist you have the statement volume in the sleeves and oh my goodness this rose print is so pretty and the sleeves are kind of like a little bit of a sheer cotton but i just want to chat you through a couple details of the dress it does come lined and the lining and the dress itself is 100 percent cotton so really nice breathable summer fabric. The bottom of the sleeve you have the elastic and then that little frill. I am all about those little ruffles and frills. As long as they're done in a way that's romantic and a little bit on the girly style but not too much you know. Especially since I want this to be more of an everyday piece. It is a midi length on me and I would say on most it probably would be a midi as well but it is a style of dress that's easy to just pair with sandals, a heeled sandal. You can pair neutral accessories, go all pink and make it all out pink and girly but you can also do more of the neutral accessories and it does come with a tie but I did also like how it looked with a white belt to style with it because I thought it made it just a little bit more elegant and timeless with a simple white belt. You could definitely go that way as well. It's just one of the ways I plan to wear it, but I do also like it just with the tie that comes with it as well, because I feel like that makes it a little bit more casual. You can throw a wand, just slip on sandals, and you're good to go. So I like the style options that I have with this dress. I can just see this dress with either a boater hat or one of those huge straw hats with the ribbon in the back. So for this next outfit, I wanted to start with this piece. And this also is another Newly rental. I just saw this come up on the new arrivals at Newly. This is such an elegant classic piece, but it has such a unique and dramatic approach to it. So with this one, it has a beautiful tie sash in the front, which if you've been watching my videos recently, you will know that I have been obsessed with bows recently. And not just like little bows, I'm talking like big bows. <laughs> I love a good statement and this one is such a statement. You can get a really nice big bow in the front and it hangs down. If you are a little bit shorter, this might be a problem for you, especially with the sash, but something that you can do with the sash is wrap it around your waist a couple times or maybe just once or twice um, to cut some of the length off. But I love when the, the sash like drapes. I think because I am taller, it does help. And as far as the lining, this is where I was thinking it was more of like a beach cover-up skirt because it is like, it is more of a sheer cotton. It's 100% cotton. It's a very delicate type of material. But what I'm thinking with this one, I'm thinking about dressing it up a little bit more, like more of a beach date type of thing. Like, you know, like a nice little restaurant at the beach or something. I did decide to go for my little slip, my mini slip that I recently found. And I styled it with that and it, worked. So I decided to style it with my little crop top. And I think since the skirt does have that statement bow in the front, it's much easier to style it with a crop top like this. Um, so it's definitely one that you can pull out your crop tops and get a fun different look depending on what you have in your wardrobe. So I do like it when you can get a nice neutral basic piece like this that has the romantic details in it with the ruffles and everything and the big bow and then style it with basically any crop top that you have in your wardrobe. But then again, I think also a silk tank top just tucked into the skirt will look really pretty as well. Okay, but I also wanted to show it styled with the bust top because I have been seeing a lot of the corset tops this summer and since I now have one I thought I would go ahead and show it with the corset top. It's bringing in that vintage style into more of the modern look as well and I, I think style with the big bow in the front too it just makes it extra dramatic and very fashion forward. I really really like it style with the bust top and if I am going to wear it it's going to be between these tops. It's going to be either with this little pink 
or purple smocked top or my bust top. So this next outfit is where I feel like I'm getting a little bit outside of my comfort zone. It's it's a really bold piece and it is from Farm Rio. And you can always count on Farm Rio to bring you a bold and fun summer piece. This is the piece that I found that I was instantly drawn to. And it's really exciting though because I'm actually starting to see Farm Rio in my local TJ Maxx, which is insane because their pieces are so beautiful and happy and bright. How fun is this color? I'm loving these bold summer colors right now. They are just, they're so much fun. It's nice to have that splash of color throughout the summer. And this is such a fun and very different piece for me. So I got this dress in a size medium and it's definitely like an, meant to be an oversized style. I have always loved these statement collars. They do have to be done right in order for me to really love it. I like it. It has like a little bit of a scallop detail on it. It's done in a way that's wearable for me. This dress, since it is oversized, you could definitely just wear it on its own. But I thought that this actually looked really nice, styled with a belt as well. Just my body shape in general, I just feel like it looks better with a waist. So I styled it with this belt and I felt like it definitely helped as far as getting it to fit my style. So this is the way that I decided to style it, but you could definitely come up with different ways to wear this. I think that um, since it is a little bit more of a summery, tropical style that I'm getting from this dress, I think like stuff like this would look really nice with it, especially wedges. I thought the wedges looked really cute with this dress and definitely meant for like summer sandals. These wedge heels matched it very nicely. So I did style it with those here i'll take this off because that's kind of throwing me off there are some things about this dress that i really loved and i think that drew me to the dress in the first place even though it is that oversized look that i've discovered isn't quite the most flattering on me i think this is something that would be more of a very hot day just throw on and be comfortable kind of like i'm at home type of thing i have not been brave enough as of yet to actually wear this out i think um it doesn't quite fit my style but it's fun to kind of step outside of your comfort zone a little bit. And this one is definitely doing that for me. Like I am not afraid of color. I love a color, but I think with oversized styles, I've gotten a little bit scared of them, a little bit shy of them because I just know that it's not the most flattering for my body shape. And I will say when I got it, it was very wrinkled. So I just used my steamer. It's just, it works so well and it makes it so easy so that my stuff actually looks nice and not wrinkly. Especially since I wear all the linen now. Oh my goodness. But anyway, get back to this dress. So with the neckline in the front, I like how it comes down. So you have a nice statement. You can still have some skin out. And with this dress, it's almost like that shirt dress style again. Because you have the button down all the way down the front of the dress. So you can unbutton the bottom of the dress and get a little bit of leg in there. Which I think just really adds to... The, it makes it a little bit more flattering, I think. And even the two pockets in the front are lined with this orange fabric and it's in a scallop detail. Things about it that really complete the dress. I haven't done these statement collars in a while though. And I'm really happy that I tried it again. So the next outfit that I have for you is actually the dress that I'm wearing right now. This is one of my newly rentals and it is from a new brand that I am just discovering. And this fabric, when I saw it on the model on newly, I knew that I was going to like this dress because just the way that it was flowing and that the way that it looked, I was like, yes, I'm going to like this dress because it's that light, cool fabric, the type of fabric that just feels really nice on your skin in the summer. If it has that cooling feel, that's what this dress has. And it already comes lined and it's so comfortable. And I love this neckline. I feel like it might be sitting a little bit weird up here. I think my shoulders are a little bit off. So maybe I need to work on my posture. And it has little polka dots on it. And of course, in anything that I choose, I always find myself looking for some type of statement sleeve. And in this case, it was a little ruffle detail. So I have one more piece to share with you that is from my newly rentals and it is a classic black dress. I love my summer prints and my bold colors and whites and all that. I'm always on the hunt for a good classic black dress. I found this one, which is once again, kind of like that shirt, that classic shirt dress. It's in that style because it has the button up, but this one has the cutout details. Um, I accidentally ripped the 
tag on this so i need to sew this back on before i send it back but it is from the brand sunday in brooklyn and usually i love stuff from this brand but this fabric i'm actually not a fan of um it's a little bit stiff it's kind of like that it has like a, a soft grip to it so it's 65 percent cotton and 32 percent polyamide and 3% span elastane. I don't know, I'm just not really a, a fan of this fabric, at least in the summer. It makes a lot of noise when you walk around and it's not super breathable, I would say. I much prefer a cotton or a linen material or silk, but I'm trying to understand why I went for this though. Like out of all the black dresses that are on Newly, I think because I've been drawn to shirt dresses recently, I think is why I went for this one. But anyway, I feel like I'm totally hating on this dress, but I do like it. I just wanted to mention the things that I noticed about it as I was wearing it. And this is the type of dress that fits really well when we have a cooler rainy day. This is something I love throwing on for work, for stuff like that. I got this in a size medium and I'd say it does run big. So I probably would have done better with the small, but there are some other things I do like about this that with the cutout, at the waist it's very tasteful it's still work appropriate for me to wear at least and as far as styling black at the moment i'm obsessed with styling black shirt dresses and linen dresses with brown accessories i i feel like it just really brings in a summer earthy feel to the dress and especially since i have this handbag now it just fits and elevates the outfit so well but it's not overly it's very much a work appropriate type of outfit. With this dress, I wouldn't style a belt with it just because of the cutout details, but as far as how you decide to style it with your handbag and your shoes, jewelry, that type of thing. Gold jewelry with this will look so pretty, very elegant. So this is the last outfit that I wanted to share with you. I always hear about the little black dress, but in my case, it's always the black midi dress. But that is all that I have for you in this video today. You'll have to let me know which outfit was your favorite and you'll have to let me know if I have talked you into getting yourself a steamer. I don't know, I'm just so excited about this. I mean, I've been on board with the steamers for a while. I had to be because I burned so many clothes with an iron. Anyways, I need to let you all go because I've been quite the chatterbox today. I hope you all have a wonderful week ahead. Don't forget to let me know that you were here. Like this video if you enjoyed it and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye.